Life is good in an old beater. Man, I love this thing. Happy New Year and ho, ho, ho and all that stuff. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, here's an update on my old Toyota 4x4 pickup. I just did the front end and you know what? It doesn't need any upper or lower ball joints left and right, which is amazing. It's probably original factory equipment. I have ordered bumper ends, which is good. They're coming. I might get a bumper here, but you can still buy bumpers new, believe it or not. Another corner here or bumper end there. Um, right passenger side fender is toast. Um, I'm going to order up a fender. You can still buy them new. I don't know where they're coming from, but I saw them on Amazon. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say, anywhere. So I'm going to pull these out and patch those holes. I got better things to put back here than those speakers. You can't hear anything in this anyway, it's just so so bloody loud. All right, I just picked up a pack of these guys, 400 lumens from uh, Amazon for the dome light. It's in there, looks a bit crusty in here, and there's the switch. Yeah, and that's the door switch. Yep, uh, that's pretty good. This is, or was, a block heater plug-in. You know what's kind of funny about this? This is a 33 year old block heater wire and it's still rubbery. I figured it was gonna be all cracked and kind of crappy, but no, it's, it's still, you know, the rubber is like new. This winter has been pretty mild compared to last year. Last year at this time we we're minus 40 and you're definitely, I think I was plugging my car in for four weeks straight. Um, this year it's been mild. So hopefully I don't need this guy. So I'm tucking this cord, uh, this plug behind the battery here and there's something loose back there. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I kind of pull it out. It takes me about five minutes to get it out because it was jammed in there. Look at that. It's two magnet ends, little spikes. And if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna tell you. That is for grinding your weed. See the spikes, magnet? I didn't know that uh, came with the Toyota. There's this rubber seal that goes around all windows. And this one's kind of folded over. So I'm getting a ton of wind noise. I just fixed the other one. You can see how it's just kind of mashed up there. So the window doesn't actually fit up into that slot of rubber. So just crank the window up and the cardboard's keeping it separated. And there you go, nice and tight. Should have no wind noise now, well, or less anyway. So let's see if this old JVC tape deck works. Uh, I don't have any tapes, so I bought 40 the other night on Kijiji for like 10 bucks. So, and most of them are crap, but um, I think this one we'll use for testing purposes. Let's see if it eats it. Fingers crossed. Oh, another thing to fix. So yeah, it's been a while since I painted a vehicle with a roller or a brush. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but the last time I did it was a long time ago and it was in the summer. And I remember when I was finished, there was all kinds of bugs stuck in it. Flies and ants and all kinds of crap. This is what I'm gonna do for now until I get this box sorted out. And yeah, I don't think it can get any uglier than it was, so this can't hurt. Oh, it's a cold one this morning. So I'm going to get in alignment today, and hopefully the front end's okay. I got a feeling that some of the ball joints will be a little loose. And this guy here needs to be balanced. There's no lead on it, and it's flapping around like crazy. Beautiful morning. This thing's gonna get a little bit of love today. Hopefully. But yeah, beautiful day. Cold, it's about minus 15. My mechanic lives in the woods. All right, so that didn't go so well. Um, well, it went well. 
I'm, I need some, I need an idler arm, I need a center link, and I need two tie rod ends before he wants to do the uh, uh, alignment, makes sense. And I'm gonna do it myself, and I, t I told him this is my beater truck, I'm not spending any money on it if I don't have to. So I'm gonna do the work myself. One day it'll be epic. It'll be like a new vehicle, um, just not today. Yeah. I don't know if it's any better looking or not. Maybe a little bit. All right, I've got this guy to replace. This is the Pitman arm. I also have the passenger side, driver side, inner and outer uh, tie rod ends to do. I've already got some nuts and bolts off here and I also have the center link to replace. I'm gonna also replace this idler arm. I think that's just cheesy if I don't fix this or, or replace it anyway. And you know what, it is kind of loose, so it's gonna go another 90 bucks or whatever. The whole front end will be done. It is rewarding fixing these old beaters up, but there is gonna be some swearing involved. This guy I pumped up with grease, and then I noticed this. There's a hole in it, so it's no good. Okay, so we're under the truck here, and this bar you see here is the center link. It's got a bit of a bend to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's not much, but a bit. The one they sent me is no good because it's for a two-wheel drive, and it's not going to fit. It's not even close. So I couldn't find one of these anywhere, and like I said, it's just got a slight bend to it, so I'm going to continue using it. Basically, everything mounts to this. Your uh, tie rod ends mount to it. Your idler arm mounts to it. Pitman arm mounts to it. So I also ripped out this old Rancho 500 steering stabilizer. It was old and crusty and the thing barely moves. And this being a manual steering uh, truck, that stiffness in the steering stabilizer didn't help at all. Basically it mounted with these brackets onto the center link. The original part had a ball joint here, just like on a tie rod end, came out to the shock and went along here and mounted into the hole like the Rancho. So here's what I'm replacing that steering stabilizer with. This stud fits into that hole that I showed you. Um, and the original equipment had an actual ball joint here, but this will work. Then on this end, it fits in just like the Rancho did. It's funny though, if you look for this part, it comes up as having two ends just like this, which would not work on my truck. So I don't know what's going on there. So this is why I bought this one and it should go in pretty easily. So doing this old school alignment, this is how cavemen used to do it. And basically you tie a string around your leaf spring, in this case, and you drop it in a lug halfway around the tire, or halfway up the tire. And then you just pull the string to the front, like this, I don't know if you can see that. And basically what you wanna do is you want the front of the tire, this is the front tire, and the back of the front tire touching. And then you know you got it pretty close. So this is how I'll do it for now, just to get it where I want it. And basically you just twist out the tie rods. They, when you twist that sleeve, they either go in or out. And in this case, I want it to go out and push this front wheel out until I got it straight. Just by turning the sleeve, we'll either push the wheel out or pull it in. So there you go, I got the string just touching. At the same, I got this, the uh, front towed in just a hair. So this will get me to the alignment shop or get it really close. The key to success on this um, and any other vehicle is the swearing, of course, and these alignment marks. You can see one on the pitman arm and one here. This is a big spline, and I had this off maybe two little splines over, so just a hair over, and that equates to about a half a turn in the steering wheel. So nothing's gonna line up, nothing's gonna work out. Your tie rod ends are gonna be different lengths, and the whole thing is gonna get weird if those two aren't lined up. Anyway, after doing this front end, this thing is driving absolutely amazing. The steering wheel's straight now, it just rolls beautifully. Um, before, I could hardly turn left. I probably had about 60 or 70 percent turning ability left, and I had to muscle it like both arms going. And now, it just it drives like a new truck. There's a little bit of shake still, and I think that's some that one rear wheel that's out of balance, and that will be taken care of tomorrow. It is Sunday right now, and it's beautiful out. Again, pretty warm temperatures. It's about plus 5C, sunny, and gorgeous at the cabin.
Honey, will you say?